What's going on, people? What's going on, people? I had to clean up real quick. Everybody jump in real quick. Let y'all jump in real quick. Um, this is the live recap. Live recap. Uh, matter of fact. Matter of fact, let me fix this real quick. Oh, let me fix it real quick, guys. So give me one second. Oh, God. Give me one second, people. Got to fix it real quick. There we go. There we go. There we go. My bad. Had to fix it real quick. Live recap. Live recap. Um, had a really good game today. Um, before we get started with our game, Cox. Uh, first of all, if you like this, man, join that newsletter. That's probably the best way to support the channel. Um, I got to drop my new uh, newsletter, first one this week. So if you haven't seen that, please join. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. The Gamecocks took care of business against Furman. Right now, I got to look at my iPad to go over the stats because I didn't hook up my OBS today for this because I didn't I didn't plan the stream. But let's talk about the Alabama loss, man. Uh, listen. I listen. I like that. Like Austin, you are a hundred percent correct. Uh, even though it was Furman, so I, I do not want to um, talk down on Furman because they're a good team. Early on, if you've seen the game, it was really close, and it seemed like that we may lose to Furman. Early on, it was early. It it, it was. Up until the second half, we – and it was like that that last minute, it was still a six-point game. But if y'all notice, like 35 seconds left, uh, Furman punted the ball. And they gave the opportunity to get into the end zone and score. So, with that being loaded in the second half, let me know what you want to talk about, man. Uh, them, them – Alabama Crimson Tide. How about how about how about them? Uh, uh, how about Alabama? Roll Tide. They lost to Texas A and M. Now, te excuse me, Texas, Texas. They lost to Texas. And my God, has college football has been shaking on their head? And they lost by ten. And as you guys know, Texas is coming to the SEC next year. Them and Oklahoma. I'm sitting here trying to pull up the stats right now. So if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking down to see the stats. Uh, right now, USC and Stanford are 7-0. Where is my stats, man? Uh, Clemson beat uh, Charleston Southern 66-17. Oh, man, listen. Listen, that Texas game. I didn't even watch the game because I was watching the, the, the Furman uh, South Carolina game. But let me tell you right now, um, good God, this is going to be something serious, to be honest with you. But let's continue to talk about the Gamecocks, man. Uh, that The running game, what did y'all thought about the running game? Uh, Spencer Rattler is still looking like he's looking like a player. But the crazy part is that because of so much uh, great quarterback play throughout college football, this man still may be a day two day three guy even though he's playing really well now we have to look and understand what what he's going to do against um against georgia next week that's going to be uh the theme that's going to test us real quick but the defense like i said the defense looked it better and i think it was a touch-up game because i'm glad we had this game in particular before the georgia game because Georgia's going to be a monster, uh, to say the least. So what do I want to talk about? They beat Ball State 45-3. to three. Now, again, it's Ball State. But I'm just trying to see what the heck the stats said. So with that being said, man, let me know what y'all want to talk about. Do y'all want to talk about uh, the throws, the receivers? Uh, Nicholas Harbor, sighting. He had a touchdown. That was a sighting. It the game pretty much was, to put it in perspective, was a good game, to say the least. 
I think I got the stats up here. Okay, the stats is up here. Uh, let me see. I just had the stats. You know what? I hate the fact that when you try to look for a game, it's hard to find it. So let me look at the SEC real quick, and we're going to see the stats real quick. So let's go to the box scores real quick. As y'all can see, uh, Spencer Rattler, good guy, had 345 and three touchdowns. He was 25 for 27. 25 for 27. All right. Let's look at some more stuff, guys. Um, Lenore Sellers was four for four, 86 yards and two touchdowns. That's the way to do it. I like the fact that they brought Lenore Sellers in, let him play, you know, you know, I think they can play up to five games and they can uh, red shirt still. So I like the fact that he came in and with 86 yards, four for four. That's a great number from Spencer Rattler to, to have that high of completion rate. Uh, Luke Doty uh, threw and caught a touchdown. Uh, two for four for 17 yards and Gaither Colton Gaither was uh one for two for 15 yards. So running backs, uh, the running back room is still kind of shaky. The carry on Jordan had 11 for 42 yards and the touchdown. Uh, Mario Anderson, good, good to see him. Six carries, 32 yards. I would and DJ uh, 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 Braswell, four carries for 17 yards. I would like to see Mario and DJ uh, Brazier get more touches. Uh, equally, Juju McDowell, like I said, uh, didn't have 15 yards. I think you should have a little more yards than that uh, playing against uh, Furman. So let's say uh, receivers, Xavier Leggett again had over 100 yards, six, well, 118 for one yards. Eddie Lewis, uh, the transfer from Memphis, uh, six uh, receptions for 89 yards. Uh, Tyshawn Russell, uh, where is. Where is I think that Juice Wells is still kind of hurt because he was nowhere to be found in the game, right? And tackles was pretty straight right there. So, with that being said, guys, with that being said, right there, uh, what do you think we should do? I think that one, it's all about Georgia, it's all about Georgia, it is all about Georgia. If y'all want to talk about some things, let me know in the comment section. Talk to me. And the defense, like I said, they only gave up uh, 14 uh, points until the second half when they kind of threw their third string guys in there. I don't know, man. Listen, this is a game, like I said, it was a touch-up game. They they took care of business. Um, Spencer Rattler looked amazing. Can we do that in Georgia? And guess what, guys? The game in Georgia is early. The game in Georgia is early. It's early. So I'm just going to look, look back and see, man. But let me know, man. Talk to you, boy. That's pretty much it, man. It, it, it's just it's something that, you know, it, it was a cut and dry game. Uh, offensive line looked a lot better. Running game is still an issue. Even though we did have uh, we did have more than negative two yards rushing, but it's still a concern when our leading rusher only had 42 yards and the backup, which had half the carries in him, had almost 10 yards less than him. So you got to give uh, Martin the rock and let the guy run. But again, we just defeated uh, Furman. Let me see if the game's still going on. I think I think we still I think the game it's the game still the game's off. Yeah, the game's off. We're done. <clears throat> so Spencer Rattler is coming up there talking. The game is done, man. And listen, on to the next one. So thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. Just checking in to see see everything that's going on. If you have it, join the newsletter. Um It'll be in the description below. Entertainment, motivate, educate, and please don't forget all three. Like you might have another uh, game caught news live reaction. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Like always, <gasps> until next time, people.